What I say in the book is that Christopher was contemplating making a number of, if I may put it this way, edits to his life late in his life. Exactly what he would convert to isn't clear. Christopher spoke of uh, Protestant atheism, which was something that he, that he found uh, attractive. He, uh, would he have uh, converted to a deism? What, what exactly, to Judaism? He was when Voltaire was dying, a priest came and said, you should renounce the devil. And he said, this is no time to be making enemies. <laughs> But it's a, it's a, it's a religious uh, falsification that uh, people like myself scream for a priest at the end. David Hume very famously didn't, didn't and was witnessed by, by James Boswell not doing so. Uh, most of us go to our ends with dignity. If we don't, and if it is uh, the wish for fear or comfort, then both of these things are equally delusory, as religion is itself. And uh... it's considered perfectly normal in this society to approach dying people who you don't know but who are unbelievers and say, now are you going to change your mind? It's, what, in fact, it's considered almost a polite question. <laughs> um, and it used, as you know, there's a long history of fraud about this. People claim that Darwin had a deathbed recantation. They'd made up lies about Thomas Paine. It goes on all the time. It's a very nasty little history, but it, it, there's also a horrible undertone of blackmail to it. People write and say, look, you've got, you've got about one chance left now. Aren't you going to take it? I'm writing to you as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> as it, it, they've even tried it on me when I've been very ill and not, I haven't had quite the vinegar I'd like to have had in, in, my, in a hospital bed. I don't mind. I can take it. But I think there are a lot of people older than myself, iller than myself, perhaps at the risk of seeming conceited, less educated than myself, to whom that's a horrible experience. It's, ve it, it's very depressing and alarming to be spoken to in that way. I mean, if Sam and I were to form a core of people to go around religious hospitals, which is what happens in reverse, and say to people who are lying in pain, say, did you say you were Catholic? Yes. Well, look, you may only have a few days left, but you don't have to live them as a serf, you know. <laughs> Just recognize that that was all bullshit, that the priests, <laughs> the priests have been cheating you. And I guarantee you'll feel better. I don't think that would be very ethical. Okay, but I think it would be something of a breach of taste. But, but if it's in the name of <laughs> if it's in the name of God, it has a social license. Well, fuck that, is what I say. <laughs>